The Blue Drop Certification Program is a proudly South African regulatory initiative which seeks to ensure that all risks posed to the quality of drinking water are managed according to water safety planning principles. This will allow the public to consume tap water with enhanced confidence. Since the program's inception in 2008, the landscape for drinking water quality management has experienced a paradigm shift, and drinking water quality is now everybody's business. This has increased the accountability that the sector has towards the South African community. Not only should we respect the right of access to water supply, but also the right to safe water. The town of Delmas serves as a memorial in South Africa, just as Walkerton serves in Canada. It is a stark reminder that drinking water quality management should never be compromised. The immunocompromised are given a voice through this program, emphasizing the need for the continuous supply of safe drinking water. The Department of Water Affairs' wish for each water service institution is to adhere to the stringent regulatory requirements. This implies that a business-as-normal approach will no longer be sufficient. The Blue Drop Handbook was developed to provide guidance on the implementation of these requirements. Excellence is now set as the benchmark. Requirements are now consolidated in five key performance areas to provide for improved planning at practitioner level. The consolidation does not necessarily imply an increase in requirements, but rather a more practical grouping of requirements, which in turn improves preparation for the blue drop assessments. Key performance area one, water safety planning. This is not confined to the drafting of a document alone, but rather a process to introduce a holistic approach to drinking water quality management and to provide a systematic, transparent approach to the consistent provision of safe water with a clear focus on public health. The emphasis of the water safety planning process is on water supply management and covers the entire water supply system with the participation of all stakeholders. The Blue Drop assessment will focus on implementation of the water safety planning process rather than the water safety plan document. The expectation is that risk assessment should inform the entire approach towards drinking water quality management. Most important would be how this process influences the risk-based monitoring program. The monitoring process should allow for the constant gathering of relevant information and analysis in a credible laboratory to verify the treatment adequacy. The laboratory conditions must adhere to SANS 17025 to allow the regulator to have the required confidence in the results produced. This would also entail being prepared for any possible incident that could adversely affect the quality of drinking water. The drafting of a water safety plan is just the beginning of the required process. Key Performance Area 2 drinking water quality process management and control. Technical and managerial skills are essential in any institution if high performance and compliance are the expected outputs. 
With the right skill sets in place, many infrastructural and resource challenges can be mitigated, if not completely overcome. In addition to adequate process controlling, each water treatment plant is required to keep a reliable logbook, where process controllers record events and data for the site, including water quality and quantity, treatment chemicals used and incidents. Key Performance Area 3 – Drinking Water Quality Compliance Drinking water quality compliance remains one of the most important key performance areas as it represents the verification of whether the water safety planning process is working properly and that the community is supplied with tap water which is of an acceptable quality. It is expected that the water at point of delivery complies with the national standard SABS 241. Water meeting this standard is considered to be acceptable for lifetime consumption. Key Performance Area 4 – Management, Accountability and Local Regulation Management commitment is essential for effective and efficient water quality operations and management. This commitment is portrayed to the Blue Drop inspectors in the form of signatures on key documentation. Another driver of the Blue Drop certification process is the requirement to communicate and publish performance results pertaining to drinking water services, which includes treatment. This must be communicated to the general public in a manner that is informative, understandable to the layman and honest. It is also expected that water services authorities and providers have signed service level agreements in place to ensure institutional arrangements are formalized for the continued supply of safe drinking water. Key Performance Area 5 – Asset Management It is essential that all assets be managed with the objective of prolonging the functionality thereof by operating them within their design limits and performing regular maintenance. It is required that all institutions should have adequate proof of essentials such as the annual process audit, the asset register, the operations and maintenance manuals, the availability of competent maintenance teams, sufficient maintenance and operations budgets, operating within the design capacity of treatment works. The Blue Drop certification program mobilized the South African water sector to embrace excellence as a target to strive for. This incentive-based regulation approach has brought about a change beyond expectations and within a very short time frame there is certainly reason to be optimistic, noting the commitment of municipalities and water boards. It is a challenging task but a task for the benefit of all South Africans, securing the safeness of tap water and protecting public health. A proudly South African solution, striving towards excellence.